machine has the capability of running in full automatic without storing any of the information into memory. Uh, we call that a fast cut. From the home screen, we select run parts job. From there, we call that a fast cut part. We can select a template, give it the bottom length of the part, in this case 26.875, and enter. Tell it the height of the material, in this case 5 inches. Select my angle. I will put 50 degrees on that end. It assumes a positive angle, you tell it negative. Negative 50 degrees on the other end. Give it a quantity, in this case we'll select four. From here, if my material is symmetrical, round, square, rectangle bar, where I can use common line cutting, one cut, two cuts, three cuts to complete two pieces, we say we can flip the part. If my material is not symmetrical, like angle iron position in the L position, I can't flip my part, I turn the flip part off, now the machine will cycle one cut, two cuts, and then give me the third cut to remove that little waste clip, and then the fourth cut to give me two pieces. Of course I can use inches or millimeter, we'll select inches here, and we can start the job with a trim cut, or we don't have to. We'll select the trim cut. My coolant, automatic, in the automatic mode, it comes on when the blade comes on, stops when the blade stops. I make sure that my machine vise is clamped and the clamp lock is on. From here I can set my blade speed. In this case we'll go 275 feet per minute my feed rate, that's the rate at which the blade approaches the material, will go 7.5 inches per minute, and the feed force, 125 pounds. And enter. We take that information, we load it into the machine, the part is loaded, we go to the auto cut cycle, and we start the job.